Hey Team Global Fitness and everybody else watching, I'm making a little video for you after I watch an amazing, super positive, um, motivating video that Summer had, um, had done and that I had watched and I thought it was amazing and had so much to say about it that I wanted to make my own video for you guys. So <laughs> here are a few things that I captured from all of this and I thought it was fantastic because I saw myself a lot in it and I saw myself uh, wanting to say the exact same things and I know sometimes maybe I say it and maybe I'm not saying it in the same way and it's like, it's like kids sometimes we hear it but then we hear it from somebody else and it clicks. So uh, to say that what's important is to maybe continuously talk about uh, the business, about how we feel and as she mentioned her vision, our vision, your vision, where we are going with all of this. So I feel that myself, I've, I've, I've shared my vision with the world. I mean, I'm consistently posting on Facebook uh, three, four times a day. Uh, sometimes it's little small recipes or motivational stuff. Sometimes it's personal. Sometimes I get all worked up about something and then I write, I, I write about it. So uh, I feel on that side, consistency has always been on my side. I've always done it. As far as invitations and follow-ups, I've done it, not consistent. However, in the last, I would say now three, four months, I've been consistent with my schedule and making sure that I get it done. And I am seeing the difference. Imagine if I would have started two years ago when I was really coasting through, uh, I would have maybe been in a different position today. I'm not saying that I'm in a bad position, but it's not the one that I had uh, imagined, but still, I'm still very happy with everything that I've done. I mean, this is the type of business where we learn a lot about ourselves, we are always educating ourselves, we're always changing the way we're doing things, and we're always going to that direction of betterness, right? Even if we have moments of failure or disappointment, it's how you're going to deal with it and pick it back up and go and do it. So uh, that consistency of working in the business will definitely help you. You'll definitely see results. It's like your workouts, right? If you consistently do your workouts, you will see results. If you consistently work in the business, you will see results. So Sometimes we just need a little help with the technical part uh, to help us get to that. But if you're always there and you're always present, whether it's on your Facebook page, on your team page, with your participants, uh, you will see results. Getting involved, being involved, I find is super important as well, right? So thank you, Shirley, for posting that video. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have seen this. I wouldn't have been all fired up to show you how I feel in my video towards you guys because we're a team here. And so thank you for that. That is showing great leadership and I love it. I love it. So I feel like she was saying, you have to be good. So I've been good. But I'm trying to find that greatness, right? So I think with all the consistency that I've been doing, I will see that greatness. And I want you to see that greatness too. But you have to hit that good as well, right? So to, to go from making sure that you're consistent in everything that you do. Has, like she, she, the video that she's doing, she's on vacation, right? And she's doing this video and she's saying she's still working out, she's still eating well, and I'm sure she has cheat days too. And, and I totally got it because since I've started, that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been on vacations, I've been camping, I've been uh, working. And it doesn't mean because I'm elsewhere that I stop. I mean, I've made videos for participants saying, okay, so it's summer, you're on vacation, that's great. Now, make sure that you're still consistent with the way you eat and you work out. What, what is it like all of a sudden you have to pig out and, and let everything go? No, I mean, you're, it feels good to do all this, right? So wherever you are, just be consistent as well. Your personal development, continue doing it. I mean, it, that's part of the entire business as well, right? You don't want to leave any of the key factors out. You want to do all of them all the time. Um, 
I loved how she said, no matter flipping what happens in your life uh, to be consistent. I couldn't agree more, okay? I've had so much stuff happen in my life in the last year and I still kept on track. I still kept my vision, um, was very clear. My vision was very clear to make sure that it continues. So for me, I wanna make sure I'm out of debt. For me, it is important that I'm able to spend a lot, a lot of time with my family. Yes, I have a job that allows me a lot of time with them, but when I'm away, I'm away for quite a few days and it's fine. It's it's given me awesome opportunities, meeting amazing people, and I, I believe there's a reason why I'm I'm still sticking around to all of this, and I, and I'm I'm okay with it. However, if something happens, um, I have that freedom of taking work part time. I have that freedom of if they're offering time off, I could take it. I have that freedom right now because I'm doing what I'm doing now with um, Beachbody, right? So. Uh, it, it, for me, that vision is is clear. I want to I want to make sure that it's always on my terms. The minute it's not on my terms anymore, I'm not I'm not I'm not going towards my vision. So I want to make sure that everything that I decide to do in life is what I want to do is my vision towards that. So I make sure that I wanted to meet a lot more people. So I wanted to open up my horizons, so I, I went and got certified. I met more people that way. Um, I wanted to reach out to people that don't want to do workouts at home, that don't want to uh, do classes. So I, I started a walking club and I'm meeting people in another group or category and I'm helping them that way. So again, it's my vision is clear to how I want to help people. It is. I was saying to somebody this week that it is my duty in life as a person in society to help people with their health and fitness. I find it so important. I find that we need to have more leaders in this world helping other people. And it doesn't have to be, um, you know, people across the globe. It starts with your small community. You want to start with the people in your community and helping them out. People need people helping them out and they need strong people that continuously do it not do it sometimes not i'll be around and and and, and just say you'll be around and then it doesn't happen people will follow you because you're always there people follow me because i'm always there people constantly tell me and i have this the beauty of meeting new people and people that i've seen like a year ago and i i have that i have that opportunity but that's great because i get to hear it oh my god mel you're still doing this you're still on you're still pushing you're awesome that's amazing you're so inspiring thank you because i've fallen off the wagon and i'm back on because of you it's amazing. I came across this list of my of um, top 10 people. Uh, I'm losing the name of it now. Uh, anyways, a list of 10 people that you want to contact, right? Um, during the course of the few days. And I looked at the list. It was a lot. It was an old list. And when I look at it, I would say 90% of the people that are on that list have done a challenge with me. I've helped those people. If they're still doing it, I don't know. I, I've, I still have contact with some of them. Some of them have come back to me and said, because of you and your consistency on your Facebook page, I've taken it back up. So it is important that we are conti continuously there to help people out. I, I, I couldn't, I can't, I can't say more than what she was saying. I, I, I you know, it's just a no matter what, no matter what, no matter if you're moving, no matter if you had a baby, no matter if you're, your kids are old, young, in school, not in school, it's summer, it's I have to walk the dog. There's so many bloody reasons why some people stop, but not you. You're going to continue. You're going to push through no matter what. It's like it. It's like anything, anyone that does anything in life. Why? Because you work from home that you're going to stop? No. I mean, so, so many people have jobs and things happen in their lives that that doesn't make them stop working at their job. 
because that job is easy. They just walk in, they do their work, and they get paid. You, this is a hard job. This is coming from you. This is you having to push your own self. No one's behind you saying, oh, here's your paycheck at the end of the day. It's not as rewarding. This is rewarding because you work hard and you reap from the benefits of working hard. So I totally agree with that. It is not easy. It's that, that we have, there's ups and downs, but that's the beauty of it. It's, it's challenging. It's awesome. It's, it makes you think, makes you a better person, makes you work hard. Um, so I want you as a homework to envision your vision <laughs> and I want you to share it. I want to share You're not used to making videos, make a video. I want you to make a video, like a short video. I want you to post it here on a group and share your vision with us. Start here if you need to practice here. And then, you know, we'll talk later about videos and YouTube channels. So as you were saying, me too, I was, I was looking at our team and I'm looking at our team and I love our team. I think we're a great group of amazing women. Maybe we need more men. Um, I, I've seen people come and go and I've seen people go and I'm like oh man it's too bad their vision wasn't strong enough for them to stay on because they had it they had it they have it they just didn't believe in themselves and so I was like what is the missing piece in all of that well it was their consistency their confidence uh, their lack of vision so you need that lack of vision and you have to realize that yes it is scary and to be humble I have come across um, a, a bridge or, or a point in this business where I just didn't care in the sense of the negative negativity that was coming say maybe my way of people going oh she's still on she's still on Facebook what is she doing what's this beach body thing you know what because I'm continuously doing what I'm doing and I know what I'm doing is something good I don't care about those people. I don't care because I know I'm doing something great. Absolutely great. And so if people don't want to embark in this venture of greatness with me, then so be it. And if you can't even be kind or not even be part of it, but just still be my friend and be supportive, then I don't I don't I don't care anymore. Because I know that what I'm doing for me and my family is something great so running out of time I gotta go uh, but remember consistency oh, drill it into your head have a clear vision of where you want to go and what you want to do so whatever that vision is right think about it. It, it it doesn't have to be complicated and it will change but that's what will keep you going every day on even those bad days even those days where I could see that you're comparing yourself to others I could see that you're you're down because you're not around anymore I could see it I see it I see it I see it so vision that has to be there and you're looking at it and you're like I'm getting there because I am a strong person I'm a strong woman and I'm gonna prove everyone that I could do this and then three humble be humble be humble be humble be great it is scary to be great, but it is a great ride to be scared on. So be humble and um, yeah, sell your vision, share it, share it with, like I said, share it with everyone. And so I thank you so much for being part of this team. I thank you for helping other people. It is an amazing uh, opportunity and get out of your comfort zone. Don't be so you have to get out of your comfort zone right now this is my another homework for you you have to get out of your comfort zone you have to just get out there and just do it the worst that is going to happen is a big fat no thank you and that's it on that have a good day